Hello, my name is Tassiana. I've been a student at North since my sophomore year, but I had a once in a lifetime experience of studying at a private school in Brazil my freshman year of high school. I visit Brazil every year, so I was already familiarized with the culture and the language, although I wasn't completely fluent. However, I had never gone to school there, so it was quite a shock to me when I met the principal for the first time and she hugged me tightly saying, sweetie, I hope you have a great time here. Come to me for anything, okay? This was something I might hear a family member say, but a school employee? Someone who I was always taught to respect from a distance because familiarity, familiarity was not allowed. I did not understand that the informal atmosphere that surrounds the country is not only in the home, but also in the schools. After getting over my initial discomfort, I felt free, I felt empowered, I felt supported, and I felt amazed because I had never had such an enjoyable time learning. Now, I had always been a good student, enlightened, curious, and attentive, yet maybe it was just because I was young, but I didn't understand really why it was important to learn. Don't get me wrong, I knew I had to go to school, but it was to get good grades, to go to a good college, to get a good job, to make changes in the world, to raise money so my children can live comfortably and all these abstract concepts that I thought I understood when I was 13. When I was in Brazil, I experienced learning in a different way. There was rarely any test, never a standardized test inside the classroom. There was always group projects going on, there was overlap in subjects, and there was intimacy with the teachers that you can only understand through experiencing it. This is what is missing from the American school system, because I believe it was the familial relationships the students and school employees had that cultivated the style of learning. The teacher's understanding of what the students respond to and their drive to forge a teaching style that fits them best made every class a different experience. There was a lot of practical work, lots of discussion, lots of notes, and lots of reading. It was a mix, and I don't even believe the students who took the same class last year had the same lessons. Most importantly, these classes were not made for the students to pass. There was no honors, advanced, or regular labels, and no one was allowed to skip grades. Yet. Each student got the attention they needed from their teachers based on the abilities and all in one classroom because isn't it, the, isn't it the teacher's responsibility to help the students pass? The students I met there were independent, strong-willed, charismatic, and very friendly. Even the shy people were unforgettable because shy there has a completely different meaning. The shy students don't raise their hands and might not start conversations, but when involved in an activity, you could not tell them apart from anyone else. Something I wondered is, how did everyone learn to be so expressive and so open about their feelings? Why is there such a struggle with teens in America about just being yourself or speaking your mind? And while I was there, I laughed once thinking back on what my middle school friends and I had thought about private schools. We had said there wasn't any indi individuality because they had uniforms, the classes were hard and the teachers were strict. Yet, that's one of the problems in schools across America. The youth of today believe that they have to, they have to express themselves through their clothing and style. They don't show their personality to people they just met and they act differently with different groups of people. They should be able to be exactly who they are and not feel ashamed or uncomfortable in any setting and they must learn that by interacting with people. This is a skill that is underappreciated, but it will be used in every single one of your relationships and any single career. A final aspect of the Brazilian school system that I'll explain is how each student got a thorough understanding of each subject. It's not just theory I'm talking about, but real life application. Not one teacher I had ever forgot to reinforce that their subject will change the world and is important in my everyday life. I was like, come on, every subject? but I understood somehow that all my teachers cared for their students by the way they interacted with us. Although some were more formal than others, it was nothing like in the US where you doubt that any teacher will remember you after you graduate. When you leave high school there, you've taken geography, math, philosophy, sociology, physics, history, Portuguese, writing, grammar, interpretation, Spanish, English, biology, chemistry, art, and physical education every single year. In the three years of high school, in the three years of high school you take there, the students will take subjects they both like and don't like. But when the students go off to college, at least they know exactly what they want. In America, if you had some hidden talent for a subject you've never taken, you'd have missed out on what could have been an excellent future. Now, a project that had a big impact on me was the end of the school year science fair. Every student needed to be a part of a research team. And the only guidance we got that it, was had, to, it had to be environmentally geared and it was going to be graded by every single teacher. My group did a project on pollution and fish in the Capibaribi River. We had two abstracts, one in English and one in Spanish. 
Our entire essay was in Portuguese, and we talked about the water content and how much it had been polluted over the last few years. We talked about why pollution had global and local impacts. We even went as far as interviewing people who lived along the river and made a living fishing. We talked about economic impact, a section explained the biology of the fish, and had an exhibit that was aesthetically pleasing. We got great in virtually every single subject. I hated history, but I learned to appreciate it. I loved science, and my bonds only, were only strengthened by this. All subjects are interconnected, all are a part of life, and by learning them, I better understood myself and the people around me. Now, why in America is each subject a separate thing, each kept in a box and spread far apart so they never come in contact with one another? Why are students allowed to choose sub subjects when they really don't know firsthand if they'll be good at it or not, or if they'll use it in their future? Why can't the students and school system release themselves from the prison of standardized testing and just experience school and socialize and have fun instead of feel stress? Why can't we treat teachers as a part of our family? Aren't they one of the largest influences in our lives along with our parents? I feel that this is the direction that all school systems should move toward in favor of having a generation of confident, expressive, and creative youth. Thank you.